Welcome. We are going to take you on a little tour of the Tsuru University area. Now you probably know that the school festival that is held every year at Tsuru University is known as the Katsura Gawasai or Katsura River Festival. Uh, that must be because the university is actually situated on the Katsura River. We'll take a little tour with the river as our guide. Okay then, let's uh, start off at Tokai Chiba Station, a little way up the road from the university. You'll see a couple of maps in the station that might be helpful. But let's just come out of the station onto Route 139, the old Fuji Road. Now, as you come down the road, um, you'll come to what are actually two bridges. The road itself is a bridge that takes you across the river. You see, it's a quite strong river, and to your right, you'll see another smaller bridge that takes you to a nice little park area, the home of the Tahara Shrine from which you can view the Tahara waterfalls. Now you'll certainly become very, very familiar with this during your time at Tsuru. It's a nice little space for a picnic, for example. There's a little statue of Matsuo Basho, the great haiku genius. Basho actually stayed in the Tsuru area after his house burned down. But let's keep walking down the Fuji road towards the university, then past the university, away from Mount Fuji. You can take the train, of course, but it's a nice walk if the weather is good. We're going to look for the next bridge over the river down this road. It's actually not that easy to find. First, you need to find Yamuramachi Station. If you go behind Yamuramachi Station and walk down the little path, you'll see another little picnic area from which you can view the river. It's a bit calmer here as the land has flattened off a little bit. Anyway, as you can see, this is another nice little space where you can perhaps have a picnic and view the river. And um, this is the second spot where the river is crossed by the road and you can have a nice little view. Okay, let's go back to Yamuramachi Station. This time we'll walk away from the station towards the Fuji Road. You can find a little guide to this area in our book about Mount Fuji. If you cross the main road here, you can find a nice little alleyway next to the mountains. There are some nice temples and shrines here. Again, you can uh, check out our book on Mount Fuji to get some uh, interesting details about these various shrines and temples, and particularly their relation to the great haiku genius, Matsuo Basho. Enjoy. There are lots of uh, artifacts connected with Basho in these various spots. Some of them are not so easy to find, uh, so it's probably a good idea to have a look at our guidebook if you really want to find these. Now if you keep walking down the alleyway uh, away from the, uh, the university uh, towards Tsuru Station, towards Otsuki Station I suppose, um, you'll eventually uh, come to a dead end. And if you're on the uh, main road, which is right next to it of course, uh, it's a very sharp left. Um, and this is actually at the Tozenji Temple. And if you stand near the road, just outside the temple, and look back towards the university, uh, you'll just about be able to see the peak of Mount Fuji over the hills. In other words, you have to walk away from Mount Fuji to see it. Otherwise, the hills get in the way. Actually, you can also just about see Mount Fuji from Yamuramachi Station, but not from closer to the university. If you want to get a better view, uh, you have to go a bit further up.
the road from the university. Okay, let's do that in my car and we're driving past the university and up now past the Psyche Bridge area. We're going to keep going, have a little break here. Um, up you'll pass the drugstore on your left and Shimamura on your right and off to your right here you'll find the um, Wakimizu, the spring water, Fujisan spring water cluster, Natsugari. Now the uh, the Natsugari uh, spring water cluster uh, is just behind Higashikatsura station. This is definitely worth a visit. Uh, you'll find waterfalls. This is the Taro and Jiro waterfalls. Um, basically spring water gushing out of the rocks. That's pretty amazing. Um, the Chokeji Temple also uh, is definitely worth a visit. Uh, you can sample the spring water, um, take a pet bottle with you, um, and you know get your own collection of water. What could be nicer than that? They're even growing wasabi in some of these natural spring water areas. Pretty amazing. Anyway, we have to keep going. Uh, I mentioned that the uh, Natsugari um, Wakimizu cluster is behind the uh, Higashikatsura station. Well, now you're in the Katsura area, uh, Higashikatsura and Nishikatsura, and uh, here you get very easy views, very, very clear views of the mountain. As I say, you can go into the Katsura area. The, um, the river is close to the, the road, easy to get views of the mountain, the, the mountain looming very large, um, moving from Katsura area into Fuji Yoshida. Next stop, Shimo Yoshida Station. Shimo Yoshida Station is quite famous now because it's the closest station to Chureto Pagoda, um, which is very famous among foreign tourists. Huge numbers of tourists come to this area. Um, don't say you have no chance to practice English. There's lots of chance. Take a walk uh, up the steps towards the pagoda, speed it up for you here. Um, and very soon you'll come to uh, one of the Sengen Jinja in the area, um, dedicated, of course, to the worship of Mount Fuji. Keep going up the hill, uh, past the pagoda. That's what it's all about. That's what's attracting tourists to the area, the views of the mountain uh, with cherry blossoms and the pagoda. This is New Year. A short walk from there to Gekkoji Station. Um, and... From Gekkoji Station, it's another short walk to the old Nishiura Entertainment District. Uh, this used to be incredibly busy in the old days. Um, actually, the Fujiyoshida Town Hall people are trying to revive it. Uh, some of these uh, areas are often used as locations in movies because they have that old Showa era atmosphere. Actually, I've sat in some of these bars while they were shooting movies outside. And from Fujisan Station, a little bit further up the road, it's a very short walk uh, to the iconic Tori entrance. Tori entrance to the um, sacred Mount Fuji climbing district, which takes you back onto the old Fuji Road where we started actually. Now, once you walk through this Tori, you will be on sacred ground keep walking up here and you'll notice the entrance to lots of the old Oshi, Oshi houses where Mount Fuji pilgrims used to stay in large numbers. So you go through this tori and now you're on sacred ground. Keep walking up here and um, you'll notice the entrance to lots of old Oshi houses where Mount Fuji pilgrims used to stay in large numbers. Here's the um, information center. Not so many F Fujiko pilgrims make the walk these days, but it used to be incredibly busy. And it's still super atmospheric. Um, this is actually, uh, if you keep going up the old Fuji Road, this is where the fires are built for the Fuji Yoshida Fire Festival. It's really the gateway to Mount Fuji. And at the top of this road, uh, you can make a left, and you soon come to the very large and beautiful Sengen Shrine. And that is really the gateway to Mount Fuji. Um, this gets incredibly busy at New Year. 
For the Fujiko pilgrims, of course, the climb was about gaining spiritual power. It seems that that's still a goal for Japanese people today. Of course, from the gateway um, to the mountain, you can just keep walking. Um, I would say the lower half of the mountain to the fifth station is much nicer than higher up. Uh, the bottom half of the mountain is much more atmospheric and much less crowded. I recommend it. And also must be recommended, and you really should see these before you leave the Tsuru area, the five lakes of Mount Fuji. Uh, easier if you have a car, but not impossible without it. The easiest of the lakes to access is Lake Kawaguchi. There's a station, and it's rather a nice station. Um, nice place to hang out. Lots of foreign tourists, normally. Um, and it's a nice, easy walk down to the, to the lake itself. Kawaguchi got incredibly heavily touristed, uh, particularly uh, during the fireworks festival that's held in August. Actually, uh, all the lakes have fireworks festivals in the summer. A bit more difficult to get to without a car is Saiko, um, but it's definitely worth the visit. Probably the most beautiful of the lakes, in my opinion. Incredibly, two more lakes. Uh, this is Shojiko, the smallest, uh, but still rather charming lake. Um, Shojiko and Motosuko, here's Motosuko, uh, they used to form one huge lake with Saiko. In other words, these three lakes were just one lake. Pretty amazing. An enormous volcanic eruption split it into three, three lakes hundreds of years ago. Um, the lava flow that split up this lake is now the incredible Aokigahara Jukai, or Sea of Trees. Um, here's Motosuko, for example, famous for the view on the 1000 yen note. You might recognize it. Well, I mentioned the Aokigahara Jukai, or Sea of Trees, an uh, incredibly dense volcanic forest. Um, a bit scary, actually. Uh, one of the most popular suicide spots in the world, number two after the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, even so, it is pretty amazing. And uh, talking of lakes, uh, last but certainly not least is Yamanakako. Uh, this is the highest up of all the lakes, and Mount Fuji looks really close from here, probably because it is. Um, and as a matter of interest, uh, the Katsura River flows out of Yamanakako. Isn't that amazing? Back where we started. Doesn't look very impressive from here, but there it is. The Katsura River, Mount Fuji, and the old Fuji Road. They will be your guides. Our book might be helpful too. Um, have a good time. Make sure you see these places before you eventually leave the area. Have fun.